Hello. Thank you for joining us for our weekly devotional, and hopefully you can be uplifted by the time we're done. Two hunters came across a huge bear. It was so big that they were frightened to the point where they dropped their rifles and ran for cover. One man climbed a tree while another man went to a cave that was nearby. The bear, seeing his predicament and thinking what a great day this could be, he sat down between the tree and the cave, just contemplating what to do next. As they're waiting and watching the bear, the hunter in the tree notices that his buddy comes running out of the cave. And then he frantically runs back in. Second time, the guy comes running out of the cave. And then he goes running back in. And yet a third time, he runs out of the cave. And as he comes out, his buddy yelled down to him, Are you crazy? Stay in the cave till the bear leaves. The guy hollered up, I can't. There's another bear in the cave. Do you ever feel like the fear is giving you the runaround? Although there are a lot of scary things going on in the world today, and perhaps even our own personal lives, God has not called us to live in fear. He's called us to stand strong in his confidence, knowing that he's in control. Paul said in 1 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7, For God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power and of love and of self-control. Dr. E. Stanley Jones said, I'm inwardly fashioned for faith, not for fear. Fear is not my native land. Faith is. I am so made that worry and anxiety are sand in the machinery of life. Faith is the oil. I live better by faith and confidence than by fear, doubt, and anxiety. In anxiety and worry, my being is grasping for breath. These are not my native air. But in faith and confidence, I breathe freely. These are my native air. Let's say no to fear. Let's decide we're not going to fear. We're going to give it to God. We're not going to allow anxiety to overcome us because that's not what God wants us to do. He wants us not to have that spirit of fear, but he wants us to have power, love, and self-discipline. Let's put our hope in the Lord once again. Notice what Psalms 27, verses 1 through 3 says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When evil doers assail me, to eat up my flesh, my adversary and foes, it is they who stumble and fall. Though on an army encamps against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war rise against me, yet I will be confident. Let's have our confidence in God. Let's give him our fears because he wants us to have that spirit of power. Let us pray. Holy Father and God, we thank you so much for your love and we thank you for your blessings. We thank you, dear Lord, that you do give us this, this spirit of power and not a spirit of fear. We know that there are things going on around us that, that make us anxious and make us worry, but we know we can lay them at the foot of the cross and you will take them away. Let us trust you, Father. Let us put our faith in you and allow you to guide us in all things. We thank you, Father, for giving us salvation through your son, Jesus. And thank you, Father, for the great love that you shower upon us each and every day so that we know that we can trust you with all things. And it's through your son, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us today, and I hope you have a great day.